Patriots and they are speaking very beautifully and they come all from, from all over Washington and they're highly respected and they think this is the greatest scam they've ever seen. And so are Democrats. They're very embarrassed by what's going on. I just want to start by saying that on the uh, electric vehicles that Biden is pushing down everybody's throat even though people don't want them, he wants to put a uh, big tariff on China, which is a suggestion that I said, where have you been for three and a half years? They should have done it a long time ago. But they've also got to do it on other vehicles, and they have to do it on a lot of other products. Because China's eating our lunch right now. And they went away from what I was doing. They're eating our lunch. So they have to do it on more, much more than electric vehicles. And they have to get going fast. But it should have been done three and a half years ago. I did it. I started and then they started playing games and it was very bad, very bad for the auto industry. Uh, in Michigan, the auto industry is doing very poorly because jobs are starting to leave. We're losing, you know, with the electric vehicle mandate, they're gonna be made in China. They're all gonna be made in China and also in Mexico, owned by China. Uh, poll just came out, the very respected Redfield Wilton, and it has us up six in Michigan, seven in North Carolina, Pennsylvania plus two, Georgia plus five, Florida plus nine, Arizona plus two, and up in every other place too. So that just came out. That's on top of yesterday's New York Times poll. I think today uh, I might just quote somebody that frankly has been extremely respectful to me over the last period of a few months. He's watching the scam taking place, Michael Avenatti. Have you heard the name? He said, the next time you're accused of something by someone, a co-worker, neighbor, friend, significant other, stranger, ask yourself if it would be okay if only they were allowed to speak, accused, antagonized, while you were not allowed to respond. He's talking about the gag order. Or defend yourself in any way. If your answer is no, then you too should be angered by Trump not being allowed to respond to the various people that are making comments. Now think of it. You ask me questions, I'm not allowed to respond. They're the easiest questions I could possibly be asked. Only a guy like Biden couldn't answer those questions. Because he, he's not there. You ready? So here's a couple of quotes. Mark Levin, great man, great legal talent. This is not a trial of Donald Trump. It's a case of the Democrat Party versus America. It also represents the greatest effort to interfere with and steal a federal election in American political history. Biden is seeking to clear the field. He wants to clear the field because he can't do it himself. So he's weaponized the Department of Justice. And as, no, as you know, they have their people in that room. The DOJ is in that room because they want to try and hurt me. Now, the good news is my poll numbers have gone up significantly. This is not what they had in mind. Newt Gingrich, this is without precedent in American history. It has never occurred to President John Adams or anybody else that you could jail your primary competitor, your primary opponent. In his case, Vice President Thomas Jefferson, this goes back a long way. This has never happened in our country before. There's never been anything like this. Uh, Andy McCarthy just came out. New Yorkers should be outraged at the mockery Bragg is making of the state's legal system as the entire country looks on. The entire world is looking on. There's a very bad thing that's happening in New York. Businesses are leaving New York because of what happened here and what happened with another crooked judge, Engoron. Totally crooked, and he's under investigation right now, as he should be. He's under a big investigation, I hear, right now. Jonathan Turley, experts are shrugging. Not sure what the crime is being alleged. Prosecutors have not explained why denoting this as a legal expense was wrong. So, they say that the bookkeeping era, I paid a lawyer a certain amount of money. We marked it down as legal expense. So I had a legal expense, and I marked it down as a legal expense. I didn't mark it down as construction of a wall, construction of a building. I didn't mark it down as electricity cost. I took a legal expense, and they called it, I didn't do it, a bookkeeper did it. She did it exactly right. Took a legal expense and called it a legal expense. This is the whole case. 
Are you allowed to call a legal expense a legal expense? I don't know what else you'd call it, actually. But he brings it up here, the legal expense. It was, you know, what's the problem? I never thought that as an attorney, I could see a system like New York's, one of the most sophisticated legal bars in the world, really debase itself so badly. This judge should not be allowed in the case, and he should not allow this case to go forward. Mershon should rule in favor of a directed verdict immediately. There is an insufficient amount of evidence. No crime has been shown. No crime has been committed. There's been no crime. Judge Janine Pirro, uh, she talks here. This is, well, she's very excited here. He's a fool. He's not an experienced judge. So I'll, I'll make that one a little short. I don't want to insult anybody. Greg Jarrett, brilliant guy. Greg's argument is legally flawed. The Federal Election Commission, FEC, determined there was no campaign finance violation. The Department of Justice agreed. No civil fine was levied or criminal charge rendered. Those two entities have exclusive authority over federal elections. The state has absolutely no authority, and the city, Bragg, has no authority. And Bragg never wanted to bring this case, in all fairness to him. He never wanted to bring this case. Not a local prosecutor, such as Alvin Bragg, should be involved in this case. Uh, and by the way, the judge, you know, as you know, is totally conflicted, and everybody's talking about it. It's an embarrassment to New York legal analyst Michael Moore of CNN doesn't think the prosecution has proven its case. Uh, Senator John Kennedy, respected gentleman, I will tell you that trial, says more about politics than it does about an alleged crime. If you want to hide something from Bragg, you put it in the law book. Bringing in a fellow criminal trial, it hasn't proved to be a felony. There was no crime. Everybody is saying there's no crime. There is absolutely but I've been here for almost four weeks in an icebox. I call it the icebox, listening to a judge who's totally corrupt and conflicted. Will Shaw, highly respected lawyer, hush money, it's not a crime. Signing an NDA is not a crime. By the way, Congress, everybody in Congress they have NDAs. NDAs are very common, non-disclosure agreements. They're not a crime. Clayman, CBS Morning News, there's no evidence that this case is about campaign election violations. There's no evidence. But again, we go back to the federal law. The FEC, Federal Election Commission, said there's not a problem. There's no case. And uh, Vivek, who's here right now, so he can speak for himself, he said this is a sham trial. It's politically motivated. It's an assault on the leading candidate for U.S. president. I would expect he would say something good, actually, so I won't go through the rest, but he's here. He's going to talk to you. Uh, the Speaker of the House is here. We have uh, Byron Donalds, uh, Corey is here. We have a lot of great people here to talk to you. And uh, they won't let them speak here. I guess they want to make it difficult for them to speak. So for some reason, uh, I can speak here, but I'm the only one that's allowed. The gag order has to come off. So when you ask me a question about the people that we're talking about, I'm not allowed to answer. There's never been anything like this in the history of our country. It's a scam. It's election interference at a level that's never taken place before. And now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go into the icebox and sit for a long time. Thank you very much. Mr. Trump, will you testify? Mr. Trump, what can we expect from Trump? Be sure to swing by. Trumprap.com's the spot. Give my tunes a try. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building. justice it's not about agenda it's not about mobilizing people it's about dialing for corporate dollars these two parties have sold the u.s government and the american people to the highest bidders <laughs> be sure to get out and vote early